Hi! So, uh, this is the tutorial to my showcase thing that I did last week. The post office, yes. This is the original thing that I copied here. It, it works perfectly fine, as you can see. I launched Minecraft and they're going to go through and do all the thing imagine you can watch it in the showcase itself if you really want to find out what it is doing. But this is the tutorial for it, which is separate. And it's done in steps. There is 11 in total. It's so far away you cannot even see it. And we're going to start with the first one, which is uh, very simple. That's just the base for it, where we do the input line. You don't need to do this specifically, obviously, you need to have it connected to other railways and other stations in your world. But if you want to connect the output and the input to be the same thing, uh, this is how you do it. Where you have the input any length you want, somewhere in there. And then you have the one, two, three, four blocks down, including the this one. With the redstone block basically anywhere here just to power the rails and as soon as the diagonal goes in you have the text rail to any regular blocks this is orange will be because I'm color coding the circuits and we're just a block here on the third block that's the first step uh, pretty simple really the second step is adding the gray wool and the whole collection thingy now this you can do it if you don't have this, you could separate the outputs, I recommend doing that, but if you want to be together like this, just add the wool just on top of this, the, the Minecraft is going to clip and it's going to be fine. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five blocks diagonal, including the, the input one, then one block further and then connect it all together like this, alternating between any block and the redstone block, so you have powered rails here. And I think I have on the sign is rails and gray line from right to left, first powered then regular. What does that mean? This just means that when you're doing this, if you get rid of these rails here. You should do it this way. You're gonna have this ejector rail, it doesn't matter. You place it first here on the very, very right with one block sticking out here. Then you have the regular rail, turn it into that. Powered rail, regular rail, powered, regular, and so on and so forth. You can do this in any direction. Basically, I tested it, it works. So this is the reliable method to that. And this is basically the step two done. Just placing that thing with the deck rail. One block sticking out, important. Step number three, what did I label here? Add the observer line and the cart line. So, we add the green line, which is observers looking into the detector rail. Then, having the rest on top of them, I connect them with, again, any blocks, but I'm, but I'm color coding my ones. So this is a green wall. Just connect it. it. It's supposed to be 15 blocks long. And then, we also have this thing, the cart line, which is one block below the rest of blocks. Yeah, and the rest of the blocks are supposed to be this way. Just saying that you have them powering the rails. So you have this one block below, stretching all the way across to the end, not sticking out anyway, and you have the rails on top of them like this. Then in the same direction you have this sticking out, you do the one diagonally down, another one sticking out here, turn, do one regular one, then a diagonal powered rail into the rest of the block. It's supposed to be diagonal, I don't know if it's going to work if it's not, but this is how I made it, so you do it too. How do you make it diagonal? Well, wrong thing. This, this, done. <laughs> and then as well as that, on the 16th block here, this one, you're going to have a repeater facing into the block with an empty rail, or regular rail. Because you're going to have a thing here in the future, and then you're going to do one repeater facing into that so that it can be locked. I think you know what circuit this is. If you watched the previous video, that's that's step number three done. Step number four. Finish line, gray and orange lines. Add yellow line, input and output. So we, add, we will add the input here and the output there. 
and how we do that. So let's do the finish the lime line. I think it should be the simplest one. Where you had another piece around this side with facing into a block. Then you have one, two, three, four blocks like this. Straight with just rests on dust. Then you're going to have this pillar or the orange line just from the ground from the level that the orange wool was on where you place it up to one block above this gonna have redstone dust going on top of that a piston here on the same level as this and an observer facing into this redstone dust but one block above a block here a block here with redstone dust two piece redstone dust one two repeater and then 15 blocks on any regular blocks if you have Honestly, you don't need to use color blue if you don't want to, just saying. That's the green line. That's for the pistons in the future. And then we're going to upgrade this, which is... Well, just add more power rails here. Extend it. One, two more blocks. Do the same thing as you've done over here. In the gray line, just do the same thing. Here, with the power rail and stuff. And then you're going to have this thing which is two blocks for the from the first input. How do you do this? Well, it's also simple. If you have it here, you just... Done. <laughs> that's, that's simple. And we also have the yellow line, which is... It goes from the same redstone block, where it goes two blocks this direction, one diagonal power rail, regular rail, and then you have rails going all the way until the first input here, they are unpowered, there is no need to power them in any way because it's going to be powered by torches that are going to be above them later. That is it for the yellow line, you just continue this thing where you have a one block sticking out here, again, before the first input. Going to have a turn, three blocks like this with the rest of the block in the middle, this power rail, and then you have one, two, three. Diagonally, including the floor thing block here, go diagonal, it turns again, and then it goes into the cyan line, which I'm not going to do right now. It's like the next step, yes, it's the next step. But don't forget, we also have this thing, which is the input for the system. We're going to have it go in here. You must have one block gap here, so you turn it, go around next to this thing. The powered rail is going to end where the first input is. Then you're going to have one, two, three. Regular rail is going to turn around. Do this. One block. And then one block diagonally down. Connect to the whole line. Ta-da! And the output is just going out of this. At the end you have, again, powered rail, rest on block. Then just any block. Again. Then important, sector rail. And then just any any blocks, power rails, that's the output. Step number four, done. Step number five, which is add hoppers and finish cyan line. It is exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to continue this all the way until the last input, which is here. Where you're going to also have hoppers. The hoppers will be at the same level as the inputs. This, the top one is going to face somewhere over there, as if there was a block here. And this one is going to face into this hopper, which is facing into the rail. And then you have some blocks connecting them, and the minecart track going all the way until the end, where it sticks out one block and goes diagonally down into this rail, so it can continue on further into the system. Now, how you power this, you just add the lever here. There isn't any complicated way to power this. Step number five, completed. Yes. Now we also have step number six, which is finish placing the item filters, which is adding these things. I, you probably have seen these things before. You use a longer one if you're afraid of overflowing, but we cannot overflow because they are all separate. So this is how you build. You, you have the hoppers here. You have the comparator looking for the first hopper. A rest on dust here, a rest on dust diagonally down. Here is also a block. This also blocks here, uh, uh, like an upside down L shape. And the repeater facing to this one with a torch. Yeah, this torch is powering the rail. That's why we don't have any power here. And you just do that eight times, the same level as hoppers. And you have this thing like this. 
That's step number six. And step number seven, I labeled it as add green lines and latches. It's, it couldn't fit our snow latches in, but it's fine because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I can just say that here there are snow latches. You have two pistons, one under the yellow line, another under the green line, facing into each other, two blocks apart, and the redstone block in the closer one. Then you also have these things, repeater and uh, dust. It, it works so that when the redstone block is pushed out, the rail is turned. When it's back, it's turned this way. So that's that, but if you have it like in the opposite way, when it's powered is, is in this state, when it's unpowered is in this state, you can just go on and switch the seal around. That's that's by design. Yes. And the green line is also very simple. You have a piece of string here just after the rail. And observe looking into it, into a block. It's exactly where this repeater is. Alright, so that's the top of it. Four tick repeater on top. So they turn two pulses into one. They're short, they're close enough together for that to work. Usually it might not work if you try to do something else. Then you have 15 blocks of redstone dust, just that direction. And that's it for now. Now step number eight, which is finishing the green line and connecting the latches. Exactly what it sounds like. You just go on, you have an observer looking into the torch, a block, and that way it powers the piston, and then you do that eight times so that all of the latches are connected, and that's that's it, that's that done. Now then you're going to have something more complicated, which is the green line. You can have our no our repeater at the end, an extra block here, facing into a block, have the redstone dust on top of it, it goes three blocks diagonally, like this. This one, the middle one, has a block sticking out, looking towards this thing, the piston, and the output here. After that, you're going to have another block going diagonally down the same direction, then one going back in, and one down. That's it. Another thing I need to mention here is... This. It says no, just me, please. You add a tripwire hook, which is six blocks long. You have the string here, and the tripwire here, and a block here. Like, centered here. But then you also have another string to the right or left. This direction, basically. With a tripwire above the directly down rail and sign line and a block here. That's, that's that done. You also have a defense gate looking this way. On top of this rail. And the piston observer thing here. Where the piston is... Two blocks apart, the observer is one block apart, so that when it extends, the observer powers fence gate. That's that done. Step number nine, which is connect the glide gray line, which is very simple. Where you add a torch here, then you spiral it down. You have four block long thing here, the end two target blocks, which redstone is looking into them. This is little demonstration here that you can see more clearly because well, it's, they're going around each other and that's why I separated them. See, so you have a redstone torch here on the back of on the back of this block. You have, and then you have a regular spiral where the redstone is like one block below it. Goes down this way, this way, this way, this way. Just not too complicated actually. <laughs> Four blocks here. Four pieces of redstone, two targets. One target block is just about the rail that's behind the directory, and the one is after the one that's after it. And you put it into there. And that's step number nine completed. We are very close to the end. Step number ten adding the lock mechanism. Now that's not too complicated, I think, because you're just adding stuff here. I am going to explain this part first, and then the simpler one over here. So, after the target block, you have a redstone repeater going out of it into a block with a piece of redstone underneath. You have a repeater then, 
locking another repeater, which is next to a piece of redstone going out of the detector rail with another piece of redstone here going into a target block with a torch on top of it. The torch is powering this block with another torch that looks in this direction now, which powers nothing. Right now. It will in the future. <laughs> then we also have the next target block here, where there is another. There is also a repeater. Don't know why the next target block has all also has a repeater after it with redstone dust, and it goes diagonally upwards towards over there into this repeater that blocks this. Same thing as we did way over there. That's now step number 10 done. And uh, the last step, finishing the queue, which is just connecting this rail to something finally, we have, where we have our repeater on the block that the rail is on, into a block, then we have a little staircase for redstone again, it's three blocks diagonally going out that way, then one block diagonally going into the queue thing, into a dropper that's looking that way, this dropper is looking that way, and that's the thing that activates it. Then this dropper has a, a comparator here, looks into this block with a redstone dust on top of it, and goes into this repeater which powers this block. It has two more redstone on top of it, go look into that way, look into the piston, and power the piston. At the same time we have this, the green line, which has a repeater, like on the, looking from the same block that this one is on, into the green block that powers this. And I hope that wasn't too complicated. I think it shouldn't be. You can look at it again. Where we this is, I. And yes, that's that. That's that. Then the last thing you would need to do is. Finish the filters, like just filter this with any filter item and 15 of your stamps. I just have them from 1 to 8 over here. And if I add a minecart with a stamp in it, somewhere like here, I want it to go to number 7. And another one will go to number 2. Just to show that the queue is working. So this one is going to have number 2 in it, this one is going to have a number 7 in it. Push these in. And it works. Just, uh, just the same way as the other one over there does, which I can show you. And I have the rail because it's faster than you flying because it's this long. If you are wondering why is it going so fast, I have a very cool mod that changes the rails. I will link it in the description. But yeah, this thing and that thing over there work the same. Is the tutorial done? If you're wondering about how to do the UI for the post office, I think I explained it easy enough in the showcase itself. But I will probably make this a world download. And uh, you can go look for it. Look at it as yourself, figure things out, and that's that done. Thank you for watching this. I'm finally relieved. I was procrastinating this for over a week. I am a little bit tired. It's 2 a.m. now. I'm going to make now a YouTube series. Survival Let's Plays. Like three of them. <laughs> so I hope you will watch that. <laughs> See ya!